Hello everyone, in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about cellular adaptation. So what is cellular adaptation? It refers to changes, it refers to changes made by a cell in response to adverse environmental changes, okay? So this is called cellular adaptation. That means that cell adapts itself to the uh, changes occurring. Okay, so this cellular adaptation, it can be of two types, physiological adaptation, or normal adaptation or pathological adaptation or abnormal adaptation okay so there are five major types of cellular adaptation atrophy hypertrophy hyperplasia dysplasia and metaplasia so I'm going to discuss in details about all these different cellular adaptations so first what is atrophy before I go into the definition of atrophy, first I want you to have a look at this word yet atrophy, okay? So a trophy. So it is consists of two words, a and trophy. In biology, normally a it means without, okay? Either it refers without or less, okay? So trophy is the size, okay? So trophy it normally refers to size. So what then will be atrophy? Atrophy is the reduced size because A is without or less. So it will be then reduced size of an organ. Okay, so atrophy will be reduced size of an organ or a tissue. Why? How the organ size or the will be reduced? Because from the decrease in cell size, okay, decrease in the cell size and number. Okay, so that is called atrophy. Okay, how organ size will be decreased okay we have an organ let's say this is an organ and how the size of this organ can decrease and can become this there are two ways either one is that the the number of cells you know consisting of this organ okay the number of cells uh, present in this organ this number has to decrease one the other is that uh, the size of the cell okay for example if we have like the bigger cells and if this size become smaller ones okay like this then in that case also atrophy occurs so for atrophy to occur two things should happen one should be decrease in cell size like here so when the big cells they become smaller one and the other is the decrease in the number so for example when we have let's say more number one two three four five this number and let's say that hypothetically this number becomes this and then from this large number to a small number that actually results in atrophy so a in biology it refers to without or less trophy is the size so atrophy is the reduced size of an organ or a tissue that results from a decrease in cell size one and the other is decrease in cell number okay so this is the definition of atrophy now Moving to another term, which is also a very, very important term, that is called hypertrophy, okay? So you already know what does trophy means, right? So first, I, wanna I want you to have a look at this word, hypertrophy. It is made up of two words, hyper, one is hyper, and the other, another one is trophy, okay? So hyper, it means more, okay? So hyper, it means more. Trophy, it means size. So basically, what is hypertrophy then? Hypertrophy is an increase in cell size, okay? So, uh, hypertrophy is what? It's increase in cell size. When the cell size increases, that is called hypertrophy. If enough cells of an organ, uh, mm, so, so, will be the, so will be the whole organ, right? So, if, if the cells, the, the size of the cell increases, the size of the organ will also increase. So, the, the definition is that here, we will not have new cells, but just the larger cells, okay? So the increased size of the cells is due to the synthesis of more structural components of the cells, usually proteins. Okay, so hypertrophy. We, let's say that we have this cell. This is a small cell. And if this cell becomes like this, the increase in the cell size, this is called hypertrophy. And this hypertrophy occurs due to the synthesis of more structural components of the cells, usually proteins. Okay, so this is hypertrophy. Hyper means more or higher right increase in the cell size more size or increase in the size okay so in hypertrophy you must understand that there are no new cells okay unlike in atrophy there are no new cells in hypertrophy 
Okay, now another term that I want to discuss is hyperplasia. You already know what is plasia. Hyper, hyper it refers to more and plasia. Okay, so hyperplasia it is consists of two word. Hyper, it refers to more, right? It refers to more and plasia. Plasia it normally refers to number. Okay, so it refers to number. So what then what will be the hyperplasia? Hyperplasia will be increase in the number of cells. Okay, so it is the result of increased cell mitosis or division. Okay, so hyperplasia, what is hyperplasia? It's increase in cell number. Let's say that the organ initially had two cells and if this number increases and this number becomes let's say one, two, three, four, here there is an increase in cell number. It was the original condition, it was in the initially it was like that and finally it is like this is the final situation so this kind of situation is called hyperplasia where there is increase in cell number and this increase in cell number it is because of the cell division you know the division can be cell mitosis and this also results in increase in the size of the organ because ultimately the increase in number of cells will lead to increase in the size of the organ okay so hyperplasia and hypertrophy are distinct processes but frequently occur together and both can be triggered by same external stimuli okay so hyperplasia takes place if the cell population is capable of dividing uh, resulting in the increased number of cells so what is hyperplasia it's increase in the cell number okay how the cell number increases by cell division and ultimately results in increase in the size of the organ okay so now moving to another term that is called dysplasia okay so you already know what does plasia means plasia normally in these terms it means number and this is like dysregulated okay this means dysregulated or abnormal okay so it means dysregulated or abnormal so what is dysplasia then dysplasia it actually refers generally to the abnormal changes okay so it refers to the abnormal changes in the cellular side shape or organization okay so uh, so then it's I mean uh, the plasia word does not only means the number but it also means the shape also okay it's not only the number it also means the shape so basically uh, what is this is dysregulated so what is dysregulated uh, here everything will be dysregulated so a dysregulated or abnormal changes in the cell cellular size shape or organization okay dysplasia is not considered through adaptation rather it is thought to be related to hyperplasia or sometimes called atypical hyperplasia okay so it is sometimes called atypical hyperplasia so dysplasia where everything get uh, disbalanced so what is it then it refers to generally abnormal changes in the cellular size cellular shape or the organization okay and now the final term that we have is metaplasia okay so what is metaplasia or meta always means in biology meta means where there is a change okay so change of meta is what change so then what is change in metaplasia metaplasia it, it occurs when a differentiated cell okay when one differentiated cell type is replaced by another cell type so basically we have one cell type here and it is differentiated and when this will be re replaced by another cell type let's say I'm making different cell type so this change actually okay this change is called metaplasia so what does meta means meta in biology it means change okay so when a differentiated cell of a certain type is replaced by another cell type which is less differentiated okay so more differentiated one when it is replaced by the less differentiated cell type and uh, this is called metaplasia and it is a reversible process thought to be caused by stem cell reprogramming okay so only for the dysplasia you have to understand that here is the disbalance of cellular size shape or the organization i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for your kind attention